The Big Baller brand and Sweet Feet collaboration was a success. The fans came out, the Ball family showed love, and proceeds went to children that need shoes through the Sweet Feet charity. It was a great turnout, great event. I sat front row at the fashion show that I can't really show you all of because it was a little risque, but I did dress to impress. And I got all the updates on the Ball Brothers. And I genuinely just enjoyed myself and I plan on going again next year. And since I was rolling with the family the entire time, got to see a lot of behind the scenes action. I got to see Jello in his workout. Some of his calisthenics are crazy. And I was really just impressed with his mindset, his work ethic in general. I found out about some great things coming his way. You should be optimistic about G3. Also just hanging out, you know the Ball family is competitive, so they played some pool games. It's false pool, one false pool brings <laughs> One of us gonna be One of us gonna be If you wanna know who wins, you gotta subscribe to my Instagram channel. I'll let you know there. But on a serious note, this was not only a good time, as you can see in this picture Lonzo was having, it was also a very good cause. Tickets, regular price were 150, VIP 300. And you might think that's kinda high, but no. If you bought a 150 ticket, you bought one pair of shoes for a kid. If you bought the VIP $300 ticket, you bought two shoes for kids. The proceeds were going directly to shoes on feet. And yeah, guys, I do understand that if you're just watching on a screen, you could really get misconstrued about what's really going on with the Ball family. But LeVar literally called all his family in and said, guys, this is a great cause. It's helping kids. Let's do it. And that's the kind of brand that he has. You know, somebody wants to do a good cause and LeVar says, I'll lend our faces so that people can come and take pictures and buy tickets in order for a good cause. So I just think like, you guys really try not to judge on what you see happening on this and that screen, because when you meet the person in real life, it may actually be the opposite. Now, before I show you a few more behind the scenes, I wanna show you this clip of LeVar and the shoe man talking. Now there is a little background noise because we were in front of some huge fans uh, that were blowing, but take a listen. Now, I know everybody was asking for Melo. Melo did plan on coming. He had to cancel for good reasons. He did, you know, contact about one or two auction items because there was an auction as well. You know, things were going for thousands of dollars. They had pictures of Melo. They had uh, vacations. They had all kinds of stuff out there. I mean, it, it was an extravagant event. Fancy foods with the shrimps and the steaks and the blah, 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 and the drinks. You know, it, it was a good time. This trip was fun. The gala was fun, and also just hanging out with the Ball family was fun, getting caught up with the Varentina, Jello, Lonzo, Marquise as well. He was out here doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? But Ren as well, as, as well too, Ren is hilarious. Ren is LeVar's little brother, if you don't know. He's funny as well, we had a great time. I'll leave you with these clips, guys. LeVar don't say no to fans. Everybody that passed, he done took a picture with him. He don't say no to fans. Back in the day, what you did, G? How old was you? How old were you? 
Ha <laughs> ha! He probably you wasn't dug it in no tin, bro. Thirteen. Thirteen. No cap. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. The boy was dunking at thirteen. You heard it. Yeah, hey, I know we got the pop up. Pop up shop tomorrow. Make sure y'all come through. Subscribe to the IG. You know what we're doing. Also, we got that gala. Ball facts we in the building. The ball family gonna be there. All hands on deck. All right. Peace.